What's up guys? Today I'm reviewing this 2019 Range Rover SVR, which is currently available at H. Greg Lux in Pompano. It's got 56 miles on it and uh, pretty much every option. Uh, I'm gonna go through, you know, the ins and outs of it, you know, any, any special Easter eggs, any changes from the past generation before the facelift. And uh, of course you're gonna hear what this thing sounds like because you know their exhausts sound like AK-47s. Yeah, I absolutely love these trucks and I think they're one of the leaders in the luxury SUV segment. So uh, let's uh, start this thing up and then uh, here's some revs. First, I want to put it in ignition. Make sure the exhaust valves are open and it's in dynamic mode. Okay. Let's see what it sounds like. Go into the dynamic. Dynamic mode automatically lowers the air suspension to the lowest possible height, so it can uh, really hug the roads. And I've got the exhaust valves open. Here she is, 2019 Range Rover SVR. Now, of course, the facelift came out in 2018, which included everything from new bumpers, headlights, taillights, infotainment screen, steering wheel, gauge cluster, new driver assistance systems, all kinds of new safety, new wheel options. Now this being the SVR trim level, it comes with much more aggressive front and rear bumpers as well as a full carbon fiber hood. You can get an option which has exposed carbon fiber and just has the body color on the outsides, but I honestly prefer the truck being all one color. I'll show you the carbon fiber hood in a second. And around the back we've got the updated quad exhaust tips new full LED tail lights and I'll turn those on in a second so you can see how they look the SVR badging which is uh, you know Jaguar Land Rover's special vehicle operations division which takes their already pretty impressive vehicles and you know turns them up to 11 got all the black badging all right being full LED headlights I had to turn it on to get the headlights to come on for you You can see they're full LED, 100% self-contained units. LED indicator, high and low beam, LED running lights. They are very bright. Even in broad daylight, they are very visible. On the side, got the turn signals on the mirrors as well. Same for the back. You hear that glorious quad exhaust, the supercharged V8. All right, let's get out of the South Florida summer heat and into that nice air conditioning. Of course, the uh, full leather interior, all the stitching, metal speaker grills. Meridian sound system. Very uh, interesting pattern on the ventilated seats with the SVR logo. Special vehicle operations. Full panorama roof. All right. All right. Well, the outside is very loud. You can't ignore that crazy exhaust note. The inside is nice and quiet. We go to vehicle and actually close the exhaust valves, it gets even quieter. All right, first let's turn on those cooled seats. All right, see they're adjustable. Similar to the Urus, you, know, you tap that, tap this, and you get the screen here. You adjust it, 
and you go back and it turns into the AC. So you got the temperature controls here, circulation, radio volume. The Meridian sound system sounds amazing, especially on the FM HD radio, which I think is a higher quality than um, satellite radio. But so you got the SVR badging everywhere, from the base of the steering wheel, and the all digital gauge cluster over here on the dashboard, on the headrest, pretty much everywhere. Pretty much identical to past Range Rover models. You've got your settings for all the different types of terrain, suspension height, diff locking, electronic e-brake, traction control, hill descent assist. So you put in auto. This is auto terrain response selected. So that'll pretty much, um, you know, when you go on any terrain for from mud, sand, you know, gravel. It'll pretty much uh, sense that by itself and adjust accordingly. If you take it out of auto, so you've got all your options over here. So you got eco, which I would never use personally. Dynamic, which actually is currently lowering the vehicle's air suspension and just open the exhaust valves right there. Comfort, which I was just in. Grass, gravel, snow. All kind of the same resistance to the tires when it comes to off-roading. This puts it on low traction launch. And you got mud, ruts. Let's see what else we got? Sand and rock crawling, which puts the, the gearbox in low range and uh, allows you to you know, pretty much crawl over anything. It's also up here when you select it. You got sand shows you what it does to the differentials whether it's unlocking them or locking them for mud they stay unlocked comfort and my personal favorite dynamic all right let's see what the back seat is like metal speaker grills back here all the full leather feels very nice and sitting behind myself I'm about 5'11 and I've got you know a reasonable amount of room and being that these are the um, not sure if they're optional or not but they are definitely full sport bucket seats looks like you could potentially put harnesses through them or maybe that's just for you know for looks and what I'm almost certain is an option you have rear cooled seats. So let's see, I click that. Either rear cooled or heated. Definitely nice. The AC in the back on auto. Got all your uh, 5 volt charging ports, cigarette lighter. Full panel roof, plenty of cargo space, got more air conditioning vents in the rear, more speakers up here, got more air vents, actually this is a very interesting place for, for an air vent, never really seen that before, got a Bluetooth speaker, and here you got your uh, blind spot monitor which comes in handy, along with everything like uh, Lane Keep Assist uses the stereoscopic cameras for the autonomous driving features. And what I think a must have is for any car, you go to vehicle, let's see, camera. You got a surround view camera, which is very high definition. Let's see, you got there. Pretty much lets you see any angle of the car you want. 
turn the wheel. Go to the side. Go to just the back with a top down view. Get that angle. The fit and finish in these trucks is really second to none. They're not cheap. I believe this one's listed on the site at about $124,000. But for what you're getting, you really can't complain. This Land Rover emblem there. And everything's touchscreen. Very responsive. As opposed to the previous generation of Range Rover, which uh, was lacking and uh, you know, user friendliness. All the AC controls are digital. Everything's touchscreen. Haptic feedback. Just like a smartphone. Got all your seat controls. Cold seats there. Must have for South Florida. Got the full panorama roof. goes all the way back. That sun is super bright today. See it closes. You're gonna have full color heads up display. Displays your lane keep assist, your speed limit if we were on a road, your current RPM. Let's see. One of my favorite features in the new Range Rovers is a cooler. So you put on, you know, turn off. Extra cool, only a little cool. Got a micro SIM card, charging ports, cigarette lighter. Oh yeah, wow, that is, look, man, you can see it. It is freezing. Keep your uh, Gatorades and Monsters, you know, all your iced tea cool on a hot day like this. Alright, well that should do it for this review of the 2019 Range Rover SVR. Which is currently available at H. Greg Lux in Papano Beach, Florida. This one's not going to last. Brand new, it's 56 miles on it. Pretty much every option. One sweet ride. Can't beat that exhaust note. All right, guys. See you next time. Actually, one thing I forgot to show you guys is the all carbon fiber hood. So let's check this out. Look at that such a big heavy SUV they sure didn't skimp on the carbon fiber it doesn't really take away that much weight but sure is pretty got all the cooling ducts here got that big supercharged 5 liter V8 one solid chunk of carbon fiber